Hey you guys, it's Teresa with One Heart Bible Ministries and today we're just going to be having some fun with some paint. I'm going to show you how I like to do um, backgrounds that I use on a lot of my Bible journaling and whatever you would want to use it for, but um, nothing fancy. What I usually do is with my leftover paint, and I've just squirted some on here for now, and this is my fancy schmancy palette of wax paper. But what I like to do is I just like to turn it over and smear it around. Smear that paint around on there, okay? Then I open it back up. And I like to keep some of these. These are the size of my Bible margin. I like to keep some of these handy. And then I just smash them in the paint. Now we can, let me get some... Um, Things here. You can pick it up and see it just makes kind of a cool outline. Then you can dry that and you can use it as a background. You can keep using this until your paint just completely runs out. You can add more to it, but just whatever leftover paint you're using, just smear it around on some. This is cardstock that I'm using right here. And you can go in and put it where you prefer it. Isn't that cool looking? And we'll let these dry. And then when I get them all dry, we will come back and I'll show you some things that you can okay, do. you guys, everything is dried. And I just wanted to share with you, I'm going to do two simple pages using these um, margin art things that I, my little scrap paper. You could just as easily use scrapbook paper your jelly prints, whatever you wanted to do, but they just kind of give me a jumping off spot and add some interest to the page. But this morning, I heard somebody on television, on some show say, well, I do declare. And if you're from the South, you gotta say it. I do declare. It's not declare, it's declare. But basically the meaning of I do declare means that I am making a proclamation that this is true, okay? And that made me think there will come a day for all this hoop-de-doo that everybody, all this stuff people are jumping through and all these directions that people are searching, there's gonna come a day when every single tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. And it brought me to the verse, um, Philippians 2, and that says, it's verse 10, it says, So that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So they can proclaim whatever they want, but there's going to be a day when they do declare that Jesus is Lord. And all I'm going to do... Now you can use stickers, you could paint, you could use your um, your big thick pit marker, but since my husband recently surprised me with my Cricut, it made me want to do my letters with that, and so I'm ready to put them down, and we're going to hope that they stick to this like they're supposed to. This could be a big failure. We're going to see. All right, I'm going to put this down. And smooth it out. We're going to hope that these letters adhere to this paint. I'm having so much fun with this Cricut, y'all. It is, I don't know if I'll ever buy another sticker or not. And we're going to peel it off. And it's sticking, yay! And it hasn't peeled any of my paint off. I do declare Jesus is... Lord, hallelujah, and there will be a day when every tongue will confess that. So all I'm going to do now, y'all, as simple as that was, all I'm going to do is put some tape on this baby and put it in my Bible. We did uh, Lord willing and the creek don't rise. And it kind of just preserves a little bit of my grandmother in my mind when I use these terms. But please subscribe to our channel now. We're going to do another, um, another one. But isn't that pretty? I love the way that turned out. 
but we're going to use, you know, I was thinking I loved back when I was growing up in the Broadman hymnal, we had these responsive readings in the back and I love these. And the, one of the ones that I especially loved was the one on heaven. Now I had to um, reduce the size on my printer to 73%, I believe, to get this to work in the margin. I'm gonna put it on this one. And it's coming from Revelation 7, 9 through 15. Now, this old hymnal is came from one of my home church. I just don't wanna tear it up. Now, you might have some that you've gotten from the thrift store or whatever that you could just pull out of. But what I did was I photocopied it. And then I have this um, Tim Holtz Distress Ink and Vintage Photo, and I'm gonna show you how I use it just to make it look a little older. So, it's not real inky, but you need to start on the outside and kind of circle in towards the edges. See how that's going? And it's gonna give it more of an aged look. Actually kind of looks like it got caught in a fire, doesn't it, y'all? Anyway, but that's all right. I kind of like it, and I, I go over it a little bit too, just to darken it a little bit. And see there, that makes it look very vintage. And I'm just going to apply it once again. I think I'll do it this way. Okay, we have done two simple pages. These are perfect for using if you have done um, something on one side that has given you a whole lot of shadowing or bleed through. These are perfect to cover the other side and to be use as your background for something that you might want to do on the opposite side without getting the bleed through. So, um, hope that you'll have some fun with this technique and if you like this video please give us a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button and comment below and let us know what you think or what you think you'd like to see us do don't forget we have a facebook group it's called one heart bible slash bible journaling all the supplies that we have used will be linked below and see you later bye